Time now for an update from Fox Carolina News and Fox Carolina Weather. Weather rates certified most accurate. Good evening, I'm Cody Alcorn. It is a wet night across the upstate and we're starting to see some snowfall across western North Carolina. We'll check in with Chief Meteorologist Kendra Kent in just a moment to get an update on that forecast. Right now at foxcarolina.com, we're following a couple big stories. Of course, that murder suspect arrested in Spartanburg today, wanted out of Indiana. And we have learned brand new information tonight from the Indiana Metropolitan Police Department. This shooting happened back in March of last year, and this man right here, Austin Green, is one of two suspects charged in that deadly shooting. Now, he lived at an apartment complex right next to USC Upstate, Carolina Point Apartments. That is where he was apprehended today, almost a year after that homicide in Marion County, Indiana. The uh, Indiana Metropolitan Police Department will be extraditing him back to Indiana to face that murder charge and two attempted murder charges. He is one of two suspects in that case. This is a look at Sincere Dupree. He's the other suspect arrested in that case. But of course, a lot of you reached out to us about that big scene at the apartment complex. It was the apprehension of this murder suspect who was wanted out of Indiana. And we can also tell you tonight that there are several other stories developing, a lot of it with COVID-19 and also rolling out more vaccines in South Carolina. And of course, in North Carolina, the governor has extended the state at home order and also the evictions moratorium. Basically, the 10 p.m. curfew will remain, but some areas are opening back up a little bit more than they have been. But again, that modified stay at home order will now run through February there in North Carolina and here in South Carolina. We saw 2,900 new cases reported today of COVID-19, but we saw almost 89 new deaths, several of those from the upstate we have all of those right here at foxcarolina.com and also inside our Fox Carolina News app. And you can see our breaking news banner is up. News out of Hollywood tonight. Oscar and Emmy winning actor Cloris Leachman has died at the age of 94. We have much more on her death inside our app and here at foxcarolina.com. As I scroll down, you can see the radar here. Rain is out there. It's 52 degrees, still mild, but hard to believe up to the Western North Carolina mountains. We have <laughs> snow falling and that's we have some winter storm alerts too, Kendra. It's right. You know, and as we go through the overnight hours, snow will pick up in intensity. So winter storm warning out for those higher elevation spots above 3,500 feet. A winter weather advisory below 3,500 feet in those Tennessee border counties. No advisory or warning for Asheville or Hendersonville, but may see a uh, flying flake or two, but not expecting much in the way of accumulation. In the upstate, rain will end. No snow for us, but it will be chilly. 30 with a breeze and that wind is going to stay up through the day tomorrow, making it feel a lot colder than that. So late morning, mid 30s to low 40s will feel more like the 20s and 30s across the area. Of course, you'll want to check in on the morning news first thing in the morning to see where it's still snowing and just how cold it is as you start your day, plus a look ahead to the weekend forecast.